Guys, I can't articulate this. This sounds incredible. By far the best I've ever heard on a Silverado. This here is what we would call an idiot. And to explain why he's feverishly trying to realign his front end after showing off for a YouTube video. But to explain all that, we need to go back to the beginning. The beginning. It's over here somewhere. This is a long driveway. Come on. Oh, I feel like we've been here before. Big box full of exhaust. We've definitely been here before. I'm out of shape. We start doing those Pilates again. Yeah, we've definitely been here before. Because here's the thing, this has secretly been in the works for a little while now, and this has always been the plan from the beginning. It just so happens it's happening right now. Just over six months ago, we installed AWE's touring hatback exhaust system on my Camaro ZL1. This car makes some of the most smile-inducing noises in history. I mean, really, like... <laughs> The car's warmed up, by the way. <laughs> Honestly, there's very few things in the world that sound better than a V8 with a quality exhaust system. And that's what we have for you today for our 2020 Trail Boss. That genuinely hurt my ear. Hold it, boys! Hold it! And I know some of you are gonna say it. Yes, I'm sweeping my garage again because I'll be spending the next few hours rolling around on the ground over here. So guys, this is my 2020 Silverado Trail Boss. And we've owned the truck for about two and a half years now. We spend every single weekend, pretty much every single weekend, changing stuff up on it. Why do we modify this truck so much? Uh but hey, if you guys are new and joining me for the first time, a special aloha and welcome. I'm a crazy Hawaiian Texan that loves cars and has created this little piece I call paradise here. And guys, if you by chance missed it, my wife has just recently made this crazy deal with me that once this channel hits 100,000 subscribers, I get to attain a dream I've always had to have your own shop. And with your support, guys, this is definitely happening this year. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, scroll down, hit the subscribe button below, help a brother out. 100K, we're breaking ground on a brand new shop. But today's video is all about our 2020 Silverado here. We're actually back where we were literally just a few weeks ago at the exhaust. So there are several brands out there that are very recognizable in the performance aftermarket automotive industry. A few weeks ago, we installed the Borla S-Type catback exhaust system for the new generation Silverado. Now, the fact that we're back here in this garage, jacking the truck up to pull the exhaust off should really tell you something about how I feel about the package I just got delivered in the mail. Now, I promise the box did not come like this. I'm just a complete buffer. Hello, hello, hello. Nothing like mwah, Christmas on a Saturday. Guys, there's a company headquartered out in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania called AWE. And to be completely transparent, I didn't know a lot about this company prior to my ownership of the Camaro. When I purchased my ZL1, I knew I wanted to do an exhaust system and I literally spent months listening to every single clip on the internet with an exhaust system. And I came to the determination I wanted the AWE Touring, so I was fairly optimistic how it would sound, but that optimism was solidified the first time I took that thing out for a drive. I have never heard a better sounding exhaust system on any car than the ones on my Camaro. So it makes me super optimistic about the Silverado. Now the reason I didn't know a lot about this company leading up to that point is they've spent really the last 30 years of their existence focusing on overcomplicated and over-engineered vehicles and in just the last few years they began developing exhaust systems for the American V8. These exhaust systems come with a patented technology, which is an anti-drone technology that gives you a heck of a lot of volume without any drone. And my hour and a half drive in the Camaro last night again solidifies that. So we got a bit of work to do today to remove our Borla S-Type and get the new one installed. Now I do want to say I have nothing against this Borla S-Type. I'm just really excited about the AWE because I have been praying they would come out with one and finally they did. It's about time. I 
I'll tell you, it's a lot quicker the second time, especially this assembly. But a quick message for the guys over at AWE, and this is kind of a serious issue that I've just, I guess, uncovered. This guy just comes outside, steals my blow pop. Was that daddy's? He steals all my stuff. That was daddy's. Oh, no, no. All right, guys, we are exhaustless. We have the Borla system here on the right, just came off the truck, the new AWE system here on the left. Relatively the same setup coming from single back to a dual around that rear spare tire. The AWE system has multiple tip options depending on what you guys want. I have the bumper cutouts and I wanted the black exhaust tip, so I opted for the black diamond exhaust tips. These are larger than the carbon fiber tips and I actually, I'm excited about this. I was following my wife home last night and the more I looked at the rear of the truck, as much as I love those carbon fiber tips, they do look a bit small for the relative size of the truck, especially with that rear tire poking out just a little bit. So these are gonna look phenomenal right in this bumper cutout. The muffler itself is sizably smaller than the Borla one, which I'm excited about, which typically translates to a lot of power. We all want more V8 rumble in our life. say one thing I do enjoy about this particular setup is the tips are fully adjustable, meaning I can adjust them outward, inward, on top of this pivoting right within the bumper cutout. One pet peeve I did have with the previous setup is we didn't have that adjustability. We could rotate it within the cutout, but the tips themselves are fixed. There's no going in or out with the tips. So I was never really able to get it perfectly even with this bumper. So it's time to hop back to the front of the truck. We're gonna start torquing everything down to spec all the way back. What spec is, I have no idea. We get back to the back. We're gonna spend some time getting the tips lined up absolutely perfect. Let's get this done. mentioned before kind of the adjustability of these tips to get them lined up perfectly how I did this side this one actually sticks out just a hair more than the very outside so I kind of want the exhaust to follow suit and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side this is official measurements if you're curious I'm putting my head against the tailgate so what we're gonna do last, the kit actually comes with these guys here, which is actually for the exhaust hangers. Let's slide that over the top, use the Allen key to lock that down. So what we're gonna do is just a quick startup, let it run for a minute or two. And I will tell you, the larger tip makes a massive difference. Just those tips, the little girthiness, now makes sense. It's finally time to hear this thing, here we go. Listen to that thing. That is way deeper. Oh, that's gonna sound so good. That sounds beefy. Oh, 
Oh, no. Knocked it out pretty good. <sighs> Bummer. And note to self, find yourself some uh, smoother areas to do donuts in. That's, uh, yeah. All right. Well, my issue is here is that Sharpie mark is where the pin is supposed to be. And we're gonna see if we can realign this thing myself. Plus, I screwed it up, so I need to fix it. I was not planning on working on the truck this morning, but I guess here we are. So I've just grabbed really every large socket from Kapuna's toolbox that he had because I really don't have any large sockets. We're gonna see if anything fits on that lower control arm nut. How in the world did that, why do they design? Chevy, I really dislike the way you design your alignment pins. This is so freaking stinking stupid. One and one sixteenths. Bingo! Where in the heck am I gonna find a wrench that size? On a sidebar note, has anybody tried to fit the Dirt King alignment pins on the new generation Silverados? I know the old ones, it's pretty handy. It's got like pre-drilled holes, so it doesn't knock itself out of alignment going over a little bump. Although it's definitely not Chevy's fault. Firestone, when they align this thing. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to take these home. I don't think they tightened that enough. That was, that's ridiculous. It's good to be back in this truck. I know a lot of you guys miss it and have been asking about it. It's coming back to the channel. It's always been on the channel, but it'll be a focus here in the next few months. We're saving uh, quite a bit of money for a significant investment in a suspension system. So for example, what just knocked the trail boss out of alignment would be absolutely no issue for this truck. Actually, you wouldn't even feel it. So hopefully that puts in perspective what we're gonna be doing with this thing, I've always been a fan of some free runners and I'll just go ahead and stop there. All right, I saw a YouTube video once. Theoretically and hypothetically, this is gonna work. This allows the suspension to act free when you're doing an alignment. You are actually a pretty tricky mother- But also, don't do what I'm doing. This is probably a horrible idea. Hopefully giving me the ability to align this 6,000 pound vehicle with my two hands. I'm sure this will go fine. So the first dumb thing I'm gonna do is put the truck in neutral inside the garage and let it roll forward by itself with no power brakes. And now it's not rolling anymore. I'm gonna push it. <clears throat> push it. And I'm gonna pretend I've done this before. Finally have a wrench and I can precisely torque it to 130 foot pounds. Oh my gosh! Not only did they forget to take the alignment machine off of the truck before taking a drive, the rear nut, like I can twist it with my fingers. That's not good. I'm gonna go check the other side. And I'm happy I marked that after I got it aligned. Holy shnikes, it might work. By the way, if anybody knows one of the executives over at General Motors, can you tell them to stop putting this black gunk on the frame? No one likes it. That actually worked. Right back, perfect. I'm hoping that did the trick. All right, quick test drive. By the way, this is a mic on my neck, so if the sound feels a little bit different in this video than all others, that's why. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like this type of setup versus me screaming across the room. And I also kind of enjoy not screaming. So I do that all day with my kids.
Some good news and bad news there, guys. The good news is the truck drives straight. Steering wheel straight. The bad news is I have an increased confidence in myself, which will lead me to have making really bad decisions on things that are outside of my ability. So, no, it actually worked really good. So the truck actually wanted to go back into alignment when I loosened that nut up and then got it right back where the marking was prior to myself being an idiot knocking out of alignment. And I went back and tightened everything back down. And what we're actually gonna do now is skip forward quite a few days because I'm still a little bit in that placebo effect. It sounds great, love the exhaust, but I wanna live with it for a few days before I actually give my honest opinion. I'm a big fan of it, but we'll see you guys back in a few days. Guys, welcome back. Two weeks later, 14 days we've been living with this truck and exhaust system, and I've been able to develop this opinion about it. I love it. In all seriousness, the volume, the tone, the rumble, everything about it, I can't think of anything to complain about. Now I've had the opportunity to run a straight pipe or a muffler delete. I've had a $2,000 Borla S-Type system. This AWE is my personal favorite. When it comes to exhaust system, tones and volumes, it's kind of like food. Some people like fish, some people really don't like fish. I love fish. How this relates, I really don't know, but if you guys are looking for a system that's relatively mild, that you're not gonna really hear inside the cab, that you're not gonna wake your neighbors on cold starts, this isn't it. This is a relatively rowdy system, but it doesn't drone at all. No matter what RPM range, cruising on the highway, back roads, accelerations, you're not gonna get any drone inside the cab, but you're gonna get volume. That's exactly what I wanted. I love hearing the exhaust, I love hearing the engine work, and this is the perfect combination for that. Now, whatever AWE has done in that muffler, that witchcraft they've molded into this 180 technology, well done, guys. And if you guys have gone out and purchased your own Borla system or even an AFE muffler delete, which I had previously on the truck, Guys, to each his own. I've only learned about these new systems as they're coming out, and I've been privileged enough to be one of the first consumers to run one of these AWE systems in the Silverado. I freaking love it. AWE, that's off, guys. Well done. Well done. Hello. It takes good shots for you guys. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, these are all thorns. Ow, 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 frick, ow, ow, oh. Ah. <laughs> Make it up.